Okay, so I am literally doing this whole entire voiceover over because for some reason, I don't know what I pressed in GarageBand and my whole audio file disappeared. So I'm just going to record this directly into iMovie Video Editor because I was trying to get fancy. I really was trying to get fancy and, you know, see if I could get a better audio for this video. But you know what? That's not going to happen today. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for PayPal in Trinidad and Tobago for your online business. So my intention really is to use PayPal for affiliate marketing and not as my main payment gateway for my website because PayPal has been problematic for getting your money out and into your local bank account and the workaround talked about online on the blogs and in videos don't seem to be working anymore. But whatever money i do make i could always just use to pay for online memberships and software subscriptions that i have so the first thing you're going to do is just google paypal sign up then you're going to click on the site you want to click sign up for business account because remember you are going to be conducting business transactions online so you don't want to be doing that with a personal account you're going to want to do that with a business account once you click through you're going it's going to show you all the features of this type of paypal account then you click sign up and then you're going to have to create a login so you're going to enter an email and a password and then you're going to input business contact so that's the first name and last name of the person who will be the contact for the business most likely it will be you then you're going to put in your business name your business phone number and your business address and you're going to have to tick the user agreement and privacy statement that you agree to these terms and conditions and i advise that you at least scan through this document especially the user agreement part because there are some um, really interesting things in there for example in the user agreement it states that there are three ways to take out your funds one being transfer to the bank account that you link to your paypal account or transfer to the credit card or debit card that is linked to your paypal account or via check and we will see later on how this does not necessarily apply to trinidad and tobago even though paypal is quote-unquote international right and it serves like over 150 countries or whatever the case may be so in the user agreement they also talked about the holes that paypal will place on your account and the several reasons why this may happen so you may also want to take a look at that because this is also a hot topic on the blogs okay so take a look at the the several sections on holes that people put on your business account okay so after you do all that they are going to ask you to describe your business and you're going to have to pick from drop down menus right so most of you all are going to be sole traders or sole proprietors and if you haven't registered your business as yet i have a whole playlist on how to do that step by step online in trinidad and tobago so you could check that out i'll link it in the description down below and you'll also have to choose from the drop down um something to describe the type of business that you had i couldn't find exactly what it is i was looking for so i just selected miscellaneous personal services right 
and at the time that i recorded this video because i signed up for my paypal account like a good while back when i really and truly believed that you know i could just send somebody a paypal link and and um <sighs> for our service or but you know basically i i really i really did sign up to to be able to get like some affiliate commissions and see you know if that could work anyway i'm getting carried away i'm getting carried so at the time of the recording of this video i didn't have a website however i am now in the process of building up my website using wordpress and if you haven't seen the journey so far i'll also link that playlist in the description because it's it's been a it's been a long journey and um but i'm getting there it's i'm like i'm so close to it and i know by the end of 2021 my website will be like up and running fully functional and i'll be breathing like sighs of relief right now you have to put in the personal information for the business contact that you would have entered earlier which is most likely yourself right so that is your date of birth your nationality and your home address if your home address is the same as your business address which most likely it might be the case especially if it's an online business you can go ahead and just select the option because they have that option for you to select and at this point it will send you a confirmation email to verify your registration to the email you set up paper with in the beginning of this process right so you have to do this step otherwise you won't be able to utilize the full features of paper right so when you go into your email you should see a big button to click saying get started now once you click that button it will take you to your paypal dashboard and on this dashboard paypal will let you know that you need to link a debit card or credit card to your account underneath that little blurb you will see cd deals and that's what you're going to click this will take you to another page and you will see two options so you could go ahead and bypass the second option which is to link a bank account that is for people who have a u.s bank account that was open in the united states of america okay not your local foreign accounts no like an actual u.s bank account from a u.s bank in the u.s right so that does not apply to us unless for some reason you have that so you'll also notice that when you click over to this page you're only seeing to link a credit card and not the debit card option so there's a little bit of there may be a little bit of confusion because now you're wondering well can you link a debit card yes you can i'll show you later how to do that so go ahead and link that credit card that you do want linked to your paypal account right so once you finish linking your credit card you'll see a pop-up showing you that they use automatic transfers to the card or the bank account linked to your paypal account due to the regulations in trinidad and tobago they cannot hold your funds past 30 days right and um it's really funny how it, there's a different story online with all these people who are like crying out that they cannot get their paypal funds out of their paypal account and into their bank account so i mean i'm not sure what's happening here but um something something seems to be amiss right because you know it's really really simple for you to pay 
through PayPal, but when it's for PayPal to pay you, it's a whole different story. All of a sudden, features don't be working. All of a sudden, um, you know, things just not not happening, right? So, most definitely, I have. If you dig around in your dashboard a little bit, you can see a little bit more information on these these um automatic transfers and how it is supposed to work so they're basically saying that you should be able to take out your money through a credit card um now when you do this um in real life not online in real life they charge you a pong and a crong if you do any cash advance directly from your credit card now what does that mean like if you go into the atm and you take out money from your credit card <laughs> it's a lot of fees that you have to pay so i'm not really too keen on doing like withdrawals directly from my credit card also the credit card that i'm using even though it is my name it's not linked to my bank account it links to my sister's bank account so I don't want my funds going there particularly so because of this and I you know do a little bit of digging around in the dashboard I saw the option where you could link a another card so you could have several cards linked to your PayPal account and then you can assign rules I would say to the cards that you have so what i chose to do was linked my link my visa debit card to my paypal account right and most of the cards that the major banks in Trinidad and tobago are ruling out right now are in fact visa debit cards with the chip however the only bank that has um facilitated or what's the word i'm looking for the only bank that has allowed online functionality worldwide for these visa debit cards is actually rbc but however there is a 50 dollar us daily limit so you could only make purchases of 50 dollars per day online with your visa debit card so i've been using it to make small purchases and things for my business um i even used it to like run a few facebook ads um i used it to pay for like little mini courses or memberships um definitely like small subscriptions things that are like 10 or 12 us dollars a month i use it for that um so is is um quite useful and because it has this online functionality i am under the impression that it should be able to work with um paypal and taking out money through the debit card that will then go directly to my bank account so um, I haven't received any affiliate commissions as yet for me to test this theory, but it is my best bet of what should work at this point in time. I don't want to say that it is definitely working because I haven't tested it as yet, but I will be making a video um, once I get any type of money in my PayPal account. I'm definitely making a video about whether or not this is working because obviously a lot of people want to know that right because if you have an online business and you want to have like international customers more than likely most people trust paypal so if you can use paypal in that sense and you can make sure that you're getting your money in your hand then yes of course use paypal but that has not been the case and there are other local payment gateways that doesn't give you this issue 
it really doesn't and you're definitely going to get the money into your bank account because it was made specifically for caribbean islands to use to process online payments right so you could also look into that i'll be making a video about the different payment processes that i would be considering to link up to my website so make sure and subscribe and follow me for the upcoming videos because i will be talking about those things i'll see you in my next video